literature studies review of literature review of studies ano ang pagkakaiba nila mini mekus mekus mo lang ba yan dalawa na yan wag alamin natin ang pagkakaiba at tamang gamit nila tara na Hi, ka schoolers! Hello, ka researchers! Welcome back to Ana PH. Today, we are in the series Research Glossary of Terms. Dito, we talk about research vocabulary. So, we discuss words, their meanings, and their uses. So, previously, pinag-aralan na natin sa series natin na ito yung uh, words na effect and impact. Okay? Yung pagkakaiba nila. So, kung di mo pa napapanood itong video na ito, you better check it out at panoorin mo so that you will know the difference between these two terms and on how you are going to use these words correctly in your paper. At ngayon nga, yesterday, we will now deal with the difference between the terms literature and studies. Kung uh, noob ka or newbie ka sa research writing, please pay careful attention. Kung namang may experience ka na, aba, kailangan mo pa rin to. Kasi baka kagaya ka ng friend ko, no, na pinaulit sa kanya yung isang buong chapter 2 niya or yung RRLS niya or Review of Related Literature and Studies ng paper niya. Bakit? Kasi nga, pinag-combine niya, pinagsama niya, mix up niya yung literature and studies. E, eh, ang preferred pala na style o format ng chapter 2 ay dapat magkahiwalay si literature literature and studies. So she told me, she informed me na nahirapan siya no to identify alin yung literature doon, alin yung studies doon. And so para hindi ka mahirapan, gaya ng friend ko, <laughs> at para matukoy mo nang tama ang pagkakaiba ng literature and studies, watch this. Ito na yon. In research, literature are pieces of articles around a research problem, while studies include peer-reviewed and conducted researches about a research problem. So, klaro yan na, ka-schoolers, ka-researchers. Literature and studies are both sources of information for research. However, they have distinct differences. Literature may include journal articles like theoretical articles and critical reviews of studies. Now, the following also belong to literature. Books or textbooks, website or internet sources. We have government reports, government documents, and conference papers. On the other hand, studies include peer-reviewed researches, research reports, research studies, conducted and published thesis and dissertations. Now, punta naman tayo sa literature review. According to Woods in 2022, literature review is general and involves a systematic identification and analysis of sources that are relevant to the research topic. In addition, Robert Mueller in 2018 emphasized that a literature review is basically a review of as much of the literature as possible around a particular research problem or question. This can include nga theoretical articles, um, critical reviews of studies that have been conducted, outlines of methodologies, and so on. Sa kabilang banda, a review of studies is a review of as many research studies as possible around a particular research problem or question. These include only, as according to Mueller, research studies that have been conducted. Dagdag pa ni Woods in 2022, a review of studies is a more targeted or specific, and it involves systematic identification and analysis of studies that have been published on the research topic. So this means that you only review um, those um, peer-reviewed articles. We should take note kasi, no, that the quality of sources is extremely important here. So, there you go. Hindi naman dapat malito at hindi naman dapat imekus-mekus yan dalawa na yan, okay? So, now that you know the meanings of these terms, their um, samples and their uses, hindi na kayo malilito. 
Yan naman talaga eh, no? yung goal natin dito sa ating channel na Ana PH. Ang ma-assist kayo, matulungan kayo na hindi kayo malito at hindi kayo mahirapan sa inyong research writing. Kaya naman, no? lagi nating request na ma-share itong channel natin sa inyong mga classmates, sa inyong mga um, re kapwa researchers para in our own way, in our little way, in one way or the other, ma-assist din sila, matulungan din sila ng mga content na ginagawa natin dito. So, bye for now. I will see you in our next video. Thank you!